Hey, how you doing? David Taub here, co-creator of NextLevelGuitar.com. We're going to do a fun lead guitar lesson on some very interesting licks. We're going to twist some things up. They're really something different, and I think that's important because, you know, a lot of times, especially like in the blues and rock genres, you know, a lot of people, they teach the same old licks and... Uh, kind of go over the same old worn out roads, right? And I want to kind of get you thinking about some different things that will help to go into finding your own style as you're, you know, finding your own voice on the guitar. So you want to take these and practice them over jam tracks and, you know, kind of switch them around, twist them up and, and do your own things with them. And like I always say, you know, jam tracks are just an invaluable tool for the practicing guitarist, right? And I'll tell you what, I could help you with that. Um, click on the link in the YouTube description box below and I'll send you my jam track coach. And what it is is six killer jam tracks that sound great they're very inspiring and motivating to play over and easy to weave a solo in right and I'll send you those six tracks for free but I'm also going to send you two ebooks one where I go over the tracks one by one and talk about soloing strategies things to try scales and whatnot and in the other one I diagram out all the scales so it's a really great learning tool and I'll send you all of that stuff the two ebooks and the six jam tracks for free just click on that link in the YouTube description box below and we're going to be in the key of E minor for today's lesson. And the jam track that we're playing over is basically just a 1-4-5 minor key blues, like E minor 7 to like A minor 7, and then B minor 7. Here's the first lick I want to show you. All right, I'm taking most of this from this E uh, minor pentatonic and blues box shape. But we're adding that major third. Right? And that's a really cool note to throw in there as a twist. Plus, I'm also using that first finger as a bar finger to get um, those notes on the 12th fret. Just go over the lick slow and slowly bring it up to speed. Here it is slow. And the great thing about that lick is it adds in that major third. So you have that flat third to major third movement, which is great for the blues. And it also adds in another flat note, that A flat note, which is outside the scale. And you could slow it down. Sliding up to our root note with vibrato at the end. Our next lick. Here it is slow. Okay, what I'm doing there is I'm taking like a minor, E minor 9 arpeggio, which you might kind of look at as like a G major 7 arpeggio. Backing it up to that E, which kind of gives it that E minor 9 flavor. And then I'm breaking it up by like skipping over notes and then going back to notes. And this is a tough little twisty lick because it incorporates some string skipping. So really got to use that first finger to flat and bar over as you're skipping string. And then when I get up to high string, high string, I slide into this nice minor triad up here. Right? And that's part of this minor arpeggio. But I just kind of pull off and then back pick. Sweep those two on that E, the vibrato. And if you could do me a favor first, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps us to keep bringing the content, as well as then you'll be notified when we have new lessons up. Leave a comment below. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see coming up or what gear you'd like to see reviewed. And if you like the video, please click the like button. Give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. Here's another lick I really like, especially when playing blues stuff, this uh, diminished seven arpeggio. <laughs> I use that a lot and it's cool because that diminished seven, not only it adds that flat, flat seven, but it adds the blue note, right? So you get this. Throwing a big bend at the end to my root note. Um, you could also just play the bottom half. Bring it back down the minor scale, but this arpeggio, super cool to throw into your blues and even your rock playing. You could even start to like play it down, then back up and then play it like this. So you play it down, then when 
I get to the G string, I kind of stop and then go back to the D string. So all together. Back up. But using that diminished arpeggio, diminished seventh arpeggio is nice because it adds those elements. You want that blue note in there and then that flat, flat seven, which throws a little curveball in. So you could really mix that in because it's right here next to your minor pentatonic. Throw it in with your blues licks, your blues rock licks, and it really adds that curveball twist. Here's another cool lick that I like to use. This is using, uh, we're skipping notes in a scale. This is a nice scale device, but it's easy to turn into licks. Uh, I could use it to run up the strings like this. So your licks work really. Nice, right? So all I'm doing is like, we're taking this natural minor scale, E natural minor, and I'm using just the top two strings, and then, the and then I continue the scale on the top two strings, right? So like I always say, knowing the notes across the strings is so important, right? Right? And you can just use pieces of it, or you could do it on a longer run like I did. that lesson today take these licks play them in different keys try them over different jam tracks have fun with them stay creative and, and use them to help you know develop your own style and find your own voice on the instrument right don't forget subscribe to the channel because that really helps us keep the content coming as well as then you'll be notified when we have new lessons up and i got a lot of great stuff coming up and you don't want to miss it also click on that link in the youtube description box below i'll send you my jam track coach six killer free jam tracks two ebooks experiment and enjoy this beautiful wonderful instrument right stay tuned lots more to come and remember your guitar playing is an evolution take care and rock on